everybody here we are in a vanilla minecraft world uh definitely not van vanilla we are playing with distant horizons and a bunch of other mods i mean vanilla as far as lighting and everything else goes you can see we've got our world here so let's jump on into our options our video settings our shader packs i've got complimentary unbound 5.2.2 installed here as you can see so let's go ahead and hit apply and that's going to turn on our shaders we get that nice beautiful image we have our lovely sun up there now let's go ahead and start tweaking it uh, we don't need to mess with anything up here any of these four boxes if you don't have a very good computer or if you have a very great computer you can change the profile by default um, I'm running a 2080 super and a core i5 I can definitely overdo the shaders, at which point I just turn them off and keep playing. It's fine. But it is very nice to have them on. So let's go ahead and jump on into our first uh, settings here, which is going to be lighting under here, the, under the performance settings. We're going to turn on our pixelated shadows to 16 by 16. If you like the pixelated shadows, I suggest making them match your resource pack. If you have a 32 by 32, you can change that to 32 by 32, all the way up to 128 by 128. Um, our other option here that we want to change is our block light flickering up to 5. I definitely do not recommend going higher than 5, or you're going to think you're in a rave if you're... I don't know, seizure prone or something, definitely don't keep going up there. Anyway, it's not that bad, I just didn't like it. Alright, let's go ahead and jump on into our lighting color multipliers. We need to turn this on, and we'll jump into sunrise sunset time. We're going to turn this down to 0.9, 0 0.9, uh, oh, wait a minute, sorry, wrong one. We want to turn the blue and the green down to 0.9, and our intensity down to 0.8. Now you can hit apply and you can watch what all of these settings do, but for now I'm just going to go through and make all these changes that I want. At nighttime, I want that to be a little more blue, so we'll turn that down. We're going to turn our night intensity, our light intensity at night down to 0.7 and we'll head back. Noontime, we're not going to change the color, we're just going to change our intensity multiplier down to 0.8 rainy weather we're going to turn that down to 0.7 so that we get nice um, dark landscape here when we turn that down to 0.7 and that's what these lighting color multipliers are going to do they're going to have an effect on the landscape so if I hit apply right now you're not going to see a terribly large change um, what we need to do next is actually get into our atmosphere settings. You can see it got a little bit redder down in here, but our sky didn't really change at all, right? Uh, the sun is still very blown out back there. By blown out, I mean it has a lot of bloom around it. There's not much definition around the sun, which is fine for reality, except we're playing a video game. So let's jump on over here to atmosphere. We're going to go into our atmosphere color multipliers. We're going to turn that on and we're going to do the same settings. We want to turn that down to 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.8 for our intensity. If you want a sunrise sunset that is very, very red, you can turn this up higher or you can turn the blue and the green down lower. That's kind of your choice. Nighttime, we wanted a little bit more blue. So we'll do that. We want to turn this down to 0.7 so that it matches our other settings. 
noon time we're going to change our red nope 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 we're not changing red we're just changing the intensity down to 0 0.8 and back rainy weather we're going to change that down to 0 0.7 and now if we hit apply you're going to see some considerable changes boom we just got more red we got a nice you know defined sun back here that's what we like to see all right I don't change the nether or the end. They're perfectly fine the way they are. Um, our Aurora Borealis, we're gonna leave that on default. Night Nebula, we're gonna turn on. We're gonna change our night star amount to high. Uh, this one is important. If you like the auroras, you wanna change this to full moon or snowy biome. You could always change it to every night, but then that's not as much fun. You could change it to full moon. You can change it to snowy biome, or you can do full moon in a snowy biome by default or full, full moon or snowy biome so if you're in a snowy biome you'll always get the snow or the aurora or on a full moon you'll get the aurora and that's where we want to be there so that's good let's go ahead and head into uh we don't mess with fog we don't mess with the nether dimension these things can do odd things to your horizons, especially with distant horizons installed. We can head on into clouds. Our cloud style, it says here it's default. By default, what it means is actually unbound. So let's head back into atmosphere, clouds. We can leave these things alone, sync to world time is good. Let's go into our unbound cloud settings. And if I turn this down a little bit, a smaller number here will give you larger clouds. A larger number will give you smaller clouds. So you can see the clouds change when we hit apply here. And they just got just a little bit larger, which is good. Rain cloud edition. We're going to turn that up to one so that we get lots of clouds when it starts to rain. We'll head back. Cloud color. You can tweak that if you like to. I don't. Um, sun and moon, nothing to change here. That's all good. Rain weather, I'm going to change this to heavy and colder, and I'm going to crank this all the way up to 900. In the preview, I only had it set for 200. But if you like to see the rain uh, falling, which I don't really know why it's by default, the rain is almost perfectly opaque you, or transparent. You really don't see it at all. If you set that at 900, just for exam an example here, let me come over here so that we're in some place that's going to rain. And we do weather, rain, 100. Is that going to be long enough? Here comes in our heavy rain clouds. And there are all our beautiful raindrops coming down. You can see here. And oh, that's it for the rain. Rain's already come and gone. Bye bye, rain. All right, let's hop back into our options shader pack settings um, so we have changed everything in the atmosphere group that we needed to change camera you can mess with any of this stuff if you want to I don't do any of it I'm not a particularly big fan of bloom but the default setting is pretty good uh, let's jump on into materials we've got just a few things to do here we're gonna jump into water we're gonna change our water opacity up to 200 this is going to make the water uh, more difficult to see through, less transparent. If you turn that factor down, it becomes more transparent. I know the settings in, in here are not very well defined. Sometimes you turn them up and you get the opposite effect of what you were going for. And then you turn them down and you end up with the opposite effect of what you're going for again. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. To change our water color, make it a little more blue, we're just going to turn red and green down to 90. Let's go back. We'll do the same thing to our underwater settings, down to 90 and 90 and back. And that is it. You can play with these settings if you want. They will have an effect on the wave size of the water. Um, so you can either make it look kind of very choppy or you can make it look very large and kind of peaceful or you can just even kind of get rid of the waves entirely and have very placid looking water it's it's nice our water style by the way is it says default it's actually unbound again you can see down here in this little option that goes away if you hover over that long enough it's set by the visual style which is unbound if we go back there's nothing to do in waving textures that stuff's fine you can turn rain puddles on if you like it's not my thing 
Uh, let's head into the other options. We're going to do selection outline and we're going to change that over to versatile. That's just going to make a difference in how we see our selection box when we're over um, a box or, you know, dirt, earth, stone, uh, leaves, whatever it is you're looking at. That versatile box is really nice. I think our last uh, options here to change is to turn on our moon phased night lighting. That way on a full moon, we will have a brighter night, which we're going to turn down to 0.8. Our partial moon intensity, we're going to turn down to 0.7. And then our dark moon intensity, we're going to leave on 0.6. That's going to produce the dark nights. And then, of course, if it's raining at night, you're going to end up with an almost pitch black world. Very hazardous for your health, which is great. And if we hit apply, that is it. You have done all of the changes to make your game more or less look like mine. Um... Just again as a quick overview, your lighting settings in here are going to change the lighting of the landscape. If we go into block light color, you can actually turn this up a little bit. And this is going to have an effect on your lanterns, on torches, on things like that. It will make those brighter. Now that's not to be confused with the fact that it's not going to protect you from mob spawns any greater. It's just going to make the light source appear brighter. So if we go back, um, again, lighting color multipliers, those have an effect on our landscape. Our atmosphere color multipliers are what are going to have a much larger effect on the sky, on the sun, on the moon, and overall how the game looks much more than these lighting settings. And I think that pretty much covers everything. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you and Joel enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're more interested in the mods that I tend to play with, I will probably make a mod pack at some point in time. It's not going to be a true mod pack. It's just going to be a collection of the things that uh, I like to play with, and that's about it. I have no idea how to customize that. But thanks for joining me, and y'all uh, enjoy your time in Minecraft. Hope this video was helpful for you learning how to set up and tweak complimentary shaders to what you enjoy playing with more. Thank you and bye bye.